Welcome back guys to another video. Today we're gonna show you how to install the Soulflare wallet on your computer so you can receive funds, send funds, trade and have all the fun in crypto. Let's dive in and do it step by step. All right, we need our computer. And on our computer, we're gonna use the Chrome browser. We're using the Chrome browser because it's the most popular one, it's very easy, so therefore we use it on this one. If you use any other browser, it might be a little bit different, but it should be still very similar. If we go to the Chrome browser and press any three dots to get to the settings, we see extensions. Here we can go to the Chrome Web Store. If we click that, a new window will pop up and then we see the Chrome Web Store. From here on, we have to search for the sole Layer wallet. It is important that you download the correct um, application because there might be some scam applications. So always make sure to check how many reviews the application has and also how many users are currently using the application. You will see here it has 3.4 thousand ratings, 4.9 in the score, and over 800,000 users. So I'm pretty sure this is the right application. Therefore, we can install that. I have the Soul uh, Wallet, Soulfair Wallet installed already. Therefore, it says remove from Chrome. But if you install that, we can also do that really quickly. It's it's very quick. You can see add to Chrome, hit that, add extension. And then once you add the extension, it will take up to a minute. And then the whole thing will be downloaded and installed in your Chrome browser. Once the extension is downloaded and installed, you will see a prompt Soulfair Wallet has been added to Chrome and the onboarding site will open automatically. From here on, you can choose either I need a new wallet or I already have the wallet. You click, I already have the wallet if you have the 12 words uh, recovery phrase from another wallet already. Or if you want to generate a fresh new wallet, which I recommend, then we click, I need a new wallet. The pop-up message, we can cross that off. And I also like to pin my wallets up here so I can always access them very easily. Now we click, I need a new wallet. And now our 12 word secret recovery phrase will be revealed and we need to write that down. For the sake of demonstration, I will just copy it and put it into my flipboard and then I hit I save my recovery phrase. It will now tell you to re-enter the recovery phrase. So make sure to write it down on a piece of paper because that's the most secured way. And then we simply enter all that in here. Once we've done that, then I hit continue and I need to set a password for the wallet. The password for the wallet is something like password for your computer. It just protects your wallet from uh, unwanted access. Like if someone gets to your computer, he cannot just open up your wallet and transfer all the funds. But remember that Soulflare and nobody else can reset that password in case you forgot it. So you need to have the 12 word security recovery phrase Otherwise, your wallet will be lost. Now, it, we are setting our password now. Then we have to reconfirm our password. Once done, we hit continue and we're all set. We can follow them on Twitter if you want to, on X, also click explore. But what I want to do is I would just cross off the onboarding and open up the widget on the top right, which we just pinned. Now we'll be greeted by yeah, the onboarding of the wallet, click next, some advertisement, <clears throat> and then we'll see all the stocks. We don't, are not interested in that. And here we go, we are in our wallet now. All right, here will be some advertisement, which we could also cross off. And now we have our fresh wallet with no balance in it. Now you go to your exchange and you are ready to send some funds to the wallet. To send some funds to the wallet, you will have to click receive. Here you will see your wallet with the wallet address, which is on the bottom. If we click copy address, then our yeah, wallet address, the public address is copied. And to that address, you will send your funds. So you simply paste that address into your exchange. Or for example, use the QR code if you have a mobile application and you can uh, scan the code with the exchange. So it auto automatically pastes the address for you in the, in the, yeah, in the bar in the exchange. But what we're gonna do is we simply copy the address and we're gonna send some funds from my Phantom wallet. Now that we are logged in into our Phantom wallet, I can send some funds. Remember, I copied the address of my Soulflare wallet and now I will hit send. I will select Solana, paste the address in and say I want to send 0.3 
Solana, which is about $50, and then hit next. And also, it uh, warns us if we are really want to send uh, money to this wallet, this, this Phantom right now. Uh, it might be your exchange which you use. I would just use it for the sake of the video. And I hit send. And the Solana network is very fast, so the confirmation is within a second, and we should see our money in our Solfair wallet. Here you go. You have the money in here. Now we can, for example, buy another currency uh, token for that. For example, we can buy USDC or the pump token, for example, if we go in here and then spend 0.1 sol on the pump token, then we simply click swap, confirm the transaction, and the transaction is complete. And we should see now that we have another token in our wallet. If we want to make uh, another trade, we can again go in and change the token to sold back. So simply click the maximum and swap it back. And we lost a little bit of fee on the transaction, but also on the sell. Now, we can also stake in the wallet directly. So we can um, tell Soulflare how much we want to stake. And we see also the APY on it, how much we will get. Uh, also the annual return and total stake and so on and so forth. We have that option and we can also send and we can also buy some crypto. So a new window will pop up and we probably have to attach our uh, credit card and do some form of know your customer. We see Revolut Pay, what else we have? We have PayPal, so forth, Apple Pay, credit card, bank, uh, the bank, debit card, and so forth. We have a lot of different options to pay and choose from. So if you are into that, you can do that too. So unwrapping on the wallet is very easy too. Last but not least, I will show you how to send some crypto away. So if you want to go ahead and uh, send the crypto back to my old wallet, I simply copy the wallet address and then click send, paste the address in it, choose soul and choose the maximum amount and then confirm it and send the transaction. And since the soul network is so fast, all the uh, cryptos are gone already and it should arrive in our wallet in here. We see we received the crypto and as well here, you can choose to look at your transaction and see, okay, this is all the transactions I got. Within the second, we got another scam coin already airdrop. That's funny. And then, yeah, we have another button here to make a quick swap if we want to, the transaction history, and this settings for our Soulflare wallet. Here we can, yeah, adjust the address book. We can pre-send, uh, pre-save some addresses if we have some, uh, turn on and off the notifications and do some more security and privacy management. Uh, reach out to the support, some general settings, and so and so on and so forth. You can check that out by your own. And then if you want to keep good track of your soul, play a wallet, if you have, for example, multiple addresses, then you can go ahead and copy that address and go into coin tracking, go to your dashboard, and go to, I have to change the language into English real quick, because my computer is in German. Then we have it in English. And if you go to import quick access and then type on soul, then you will be able to import that address. Uh, on the left side, I will simply paste the Solana address. I will label it as soul one on soul layer and simply hit import all transactions and activate the job. Now we can have a completely automated portfolio tracking through coin tracking because it will pull all the transactions we make with our software wallet in coin tracking and after that we can see in our dashboard how much money we have in our software wallet how much money we have in our entire portfolio we can do all the different reporting and see how our um, trading is doing are we doing well are we doing bad in our trading are there any realized and unrealized gains how about track privileged coins and so on and so forth and in the end of the year even we can generate a tax report and it's very easy since everything goes automatically. You simply go in and select, for example, the United States. And here in all the recommended settings are pre-selected from coin tracking already. So you don't have to do anything. And then you simply generate a new tax report. And voila, within just a second, our new tax report was generated. We can load that report and download it and then hand it to our CPA or file our taxes by ourselves. 
if you don't want to install your Soulfire wallet on the computer, then you can also install it on your mobile device. They have an application on the App Store and also on Android, so check it out on your App Store or Play Store. Now, if you open up the Soulfire wallet for the very first time, then I will show you exactly step by step what you need to do so you can onboard quickly and easy. My phone is in German right now, but will work in English as well. Just follow the pressing and we press the very first one to, uh, to create a new wallet. Down below, we'll find the option to add the secret recovery phrase in case you have a wallet already. For example, if you installed it on your browser already, then you can move it to your phone already with the 12 um, words recovery phrase. And then you have the same wallet on the phone and on your computer so you can move seamlessly. We will just generate a new wallet so I can show you exactly how it works. But yeah, the keys will be generated now and you get some more information. You just skip through it. Then you will get the secret recovery phrase, the 12 words which you need. You need to write them down on a sheet of paper best. Uh, in my case, I would just copy and paste them in here. We click next. Then it asks us what's the second word of it. Okay, it's Oprah. Then we go continue and make sure that we actually write down everything in it. I'm just gonna move from here on. You have to confirm that. And then once you have entered the password, then we are ready to use the Sulfur wallet. You can enable or disable the notifications and we don't want that. We don't want any notifications. And then we have our software wallet. And as you see, the software wallet works very similar on the mobile device than on the computer, except that it's all in German right now. But you can uh, receive crypto the same way I showed you on the, on the browser device. Then you can buy crypto with some credit cards as I showed you. You can do the swap. Looks exactly the same like on the computer. Then you can stake it, which is in German Einsatz. Um, yeah, looks the same way. And then you can send crypto to another address, which looks the same way on the computer. On the bottom, we find um, some more tokens and how they're doing lately, like how are the trends? That's a little bit different than from the uh, web application. Then you can do the trading. Then you have some more uh, information about Solana. If there are any news, you can see that here. And then uh, next to that, we'll see all the settings. So as you see, pretty much the mobile device is equivalent to the web device. But again, if you want to use the same wallet on both devices, then you need the 12 word secret recovery phrase, which you can then type in into your mobile device and then you can trade on the go. I hope this was a helpful video to you, how to install a Soulfair wallet, how to use it actually, how to do your first swap, how to send some money. And also in the end, as a little bonus, how to do some portfolio tracking with coin tracking and, and generate in the end of a year, your tax report, which comes very handy because in most other countries, we have to stay compliant and actually pay crypto taxes. If this video helped you, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We will support and answer every single question so you don't have to worry about anything. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.